So Bridges for Kids. You know about Bridges for Kids. You know that it's for elementary school age kids, 5 through 12. But if you have a mentor and you are 12, the hope is that that mentor stays with you your whole life long. Wait, and they could. They could. My, my perfect world, my perfect Sarah world would be that every, every kid would have a mentor when they're five years old that would see them all the way up through they graduated high school. That would be my perfect world. But that would be like me living in la la land because people move. We found that out in the past, right? People move um, or people move on to other things and they, they don't stay in the mentoring program. But we've had a lot of luck, I think, this family. So let's start, let's see. Let's start with Logan because you're over there at the end. Mm -hmm. Logan, how old are you now? Thirteen. Thirteen. Wow. Old. So you had, I remember you had David. Yep. Yep. Can you tell me what kinds of things did you do with David? Uh, we went like golfing and we went to his, uh, his college. Yeah, we went to his college and um, like went out to eat and stuff and did a lot of other things. Like went to see the, um, the deer at the um, waterworks and all that. I remember uh, one of the things that mentors are supposed to do for me is after they meet with you, they're supposed to email me and say what, what they had done. And I remember once David said to me, um, I want to take Logan to the movies, but I know, Sarah, that you don't really like us you know, spending time in front of a television or something like that because you know, they can do that at home. I'm supposed to be exposing them to something different. And I said, go ahead, take them to the movies. Well, David wrote me like a two-page long uh, email instead of the one sentence that I require talking all about the, whatever movie it was that you went to and how it was good versus evil in the world oh, and afterwards you had yeah. a whole conversation about yeah we went to see the Transformers is that what it was yeah yeah, yeah. and did it, and so did you remember talking to him afterwards about it or mm, not, not well, really yeah we probably, probably talked about it I remember that. He's, he was funny. He was like, yes. And we, I tried to make it educational. And I said, well, not everything has to be educational. Like I think it was a 3D. Yeah, it was a 3D thing. Cool. Right. And so David was with you. Well, how long do you think? Uh, I don't know. Like, uh, a year, maybe. I'm thinking a school year. Yeah. Because then I, I know he went off to grad school. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then I didn't do a good job by I couldn't find a guy for you, could I? Yeah. Yeah, that's the problem with the program is that we don't have enough boys. Um, for all the boys in the program, we've got a waiting list. So, should we skip around a little bit here? Going order. Go in order. Skip me, then I'm uh, Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, I really want to hear from Sailor because I, I should have had a whole meeting with you way before this. You started when you were how old? Seven. Seven. Yeah. All right. With? Joanne. Can you tell me how, how did you guys meet? Mm, we met through the program, I'm pretty sure. And I remember the first time we met, I wanted to stay at my house, you know, just get used to it. And so we stayed at my house and talked about everything and how the program worked and everything. And then the next time we met up, I ended up going to her house. So, so you felt more comfortable yeah. with her after a little while. Yeah. But it's hard the first time because mm -hmm. here's some stranger coming to your house saying, oh, let's go do something. Yeah. So, and right now you are? 15. 15. Wow. Mm -hmm. So you still see her? Yes. Like, how often? Um, every, lately it's been more recent because of the holidays and everything, but usually about once every month. Okay. And what kinds of things do you do now? Mm -hmm. Well, we usually go, we usually bake a lot of stuff, and then we go to like, stores and restaurants and just play games at our house. Yeah, her house. So she lives around here. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I haven't, I don't think I've ever met Joanna, and it would be nice <laughs> if I could do that sometime, mm -hmm. because she's a mentor who's been with the program longer than anybody else that I know of, um, which is awesome. And I'm glad that you guys have got this relationship that that uh, you know, we, we stick together. Yep. Yeah. So what, did, you know, do you feel like she's impacted your life in any way? Do you feel like, I mean, how do you, how do you think about her? 
Um, I look up to her as like a model and she gives me a lot of advice about like school and college and stuff and we just talk about everything basically and she gives me advice and teaches me new things and stuff. Is she bossy? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so she's nice about it? Yeah. Okay. That's good. That's good. She's nice. Yeah. Is that, have you ever told her that? Yeah. Good. <laughs> good. Because that's awesome that, you know, mm -hmm. she sounds like she's a really special person. Yeah. Lucky to have her. You are. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Kate, who do you have as a mentor? Sess. Tell us a little bit about Sess. Um, sometimes we go to our house and we make cookies. Um, normally we go out to dinner and then we have ice cream. Um, once she um, took me to see Brave. And um, we go golfing sometimes and stuff. I know that lately you've been doing um, photography. Mm -hmm, yeah. I, I saw one of your photographs at the art gallery at the cemetery. So yeah, we do um, we do art classes. We do watercolor. And um, sometimes we just go out and draw and stuff. So. Do you think that she's a nice person? Best one I could ever have. Awesome. Good. We have so much in common, even our middle names. Your middle names? Uh, let me think. Uh, you told me this the other day, and I forgot. Tell me what your middle name is. Elaine. <laughs> Elaine. That's right. And that's kind of different. A different middle name. Nice. I remember you told me two peas in a pod. Yeah. That's good. Bryson. Eek. Oh, I'm not skipping you, because you are lucky enough to have a guy. Yeah. I have I have 40 boys on a waiting list finally. right now. Yeah, finally. I know, you were waiting and waiting. I broke history. Yeah, you did. So, tell me about Andrew. He, he's awesome. Yeah. Why? He's awesome because, like, he's so awesome that I don't know. Like, I know he took you to campus. Yeah. Because I have a picture of you like doing a dance or something at some kind of. Yeah. What at was the it? carnival. Okay. Spring fling. Yeah. So what else? What else did you do with him? Um. We did a lot of stuff over like three years. Yeah. I think it was. Um. We went golfing. Um. Bowling. We watched a movie at movie theater, I think it was. He seems like he's a pretty patient guy. Maybe. Did you ever give him a hard time? Maybe once. <laughs> and what did he do? He said, don't do that. He used his firm voice? <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Did you listen? <clears throat> Andrew's gonna be a PE teacher, so he has to learn to yeah, use a firm voice. <laughs> Yeah. Something about that. Mm -hmm. He said he wants to be a physician. Yeah. yeah. Pretty cool. All right. Anything else you want to tell us about your time with him? Um. One time I went to his dorm and like he was like really high up and I was down to the window. I was like, uh, I'm high. Up in the dorm. Yeah. Yeah. Was it one of the towers? Yeah. yeah. One of the colors. Yeah. Good. I like Andrew. I, wrote, I just wrote him a letter of recommendation, so hoping he can find a job or go to grad school. Mm -hmm. Ariana, now you have had a couple mentors, yes? And one of them is in the room right now. And you keep looking up at her, I can see, <laughs> because you haven't seen her in a while. So I don't want you to feel like you have to say nice things about Rebecca just because she's in the room. But do you want to tell us a little bit about your time with her? What kinds of things did you do together? together. What'd you do with the horses? 
time we did tricks on horses. You rode the horse? Fun? Yes? I remember seeing you in the building playing in the gym because you like to run. Did you make Rebecca run? <laughs> I think she chased you a lot. Yeah. What other kinds of things? I just remember you coming into my office, you'd get board games, you'd get Play-Doh, and then you'd always end up back in the gym, right? On scooters, playing with the balls, something in there. In the gym. Yeah. Yeah. So if, I, if somebody called me and said, I don't know about Rebecca, whether she's good with kids or not, and I don't know whether I should really hire her because I don't know if she's a nice person. What, what, what should I tell them? Ariana, <laughs> should I say don't don't do that? She's a mean person. No. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> is she is she patient, or is she really like in a rush all the time and making you do? Patient. She's patient. That's what I think too. So she's patient and nice. Okay. Anything else you want to say? So, and Rebecca is was your first mentor, and you had her for how long? Do you remember? Two years. And now you've got somebody new who's a college student, right, Erin? She working out okay? Good. All right, Alizé. I before you even start, I have to say. So Alizé, I don't know if you guys remember this, but when she was little, like in kindergarten, and her mom called to enroll her in the program, and her mom's like, I want her to be in the program, but I don't really want her to leave the house because that means she's growing up. And I said, well, we'll see if we can find somebody nice for Alizé. And I remember the first person I had for you was, do you remember what her name was? Dana. Yes. And everything was Dana, Dana, Dana. And I went and, uh, to bring Dana to your house, and you peeked out the window, and you got all dressed up for her, and you were so excited. You couldn't even talk. You were so excited. <laughs> you were hiding at first. It was, yeah, it was not a long time. And she just disappeared. Do you remember that? Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember how you felt? Sad. I remember you cried. And I remember thinking this is sometimes why I don't like to have college students because sometimes they're not mature enough. Sometimes it's nicer to have people who are community people and take it seriously, you know, like you have had. And David, he grew up in the community. He was a community person. Seth, you know, a community person. It's just, just awesome. Not that there aren't excellent ones like Rebecca. But I, I was upset with Dana, you know. And your mom called and she said, Alizé's crying. And so what did you and I do all summer long? We spent time with each other. Mm -hmm. So I got to have Alizé for a summer, which was pretty fun for me. It was really fun. Yeah, it was. And we, we did a lot of different things. I remember we went to um, Little York and played in the creek and yeah. the playground. You played in your I didn't make you do my work for me. Yeah, she did. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then who did you have? I think Tessa. Okay. And what? How was Tessa? Good. Okay. Yeah. What kinds of? What do you remember about her? Well, I think she, no. I had Kate, I had Caitlin, then Tessa. Okay. Then oh, poor Alice. You, you were gone her through mentor? a lot. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So you had Dana, then you had Caitlin, then you had Tessa, and now you have Okay. And Jalen, though, is a community person. Yeah. yeah. So she's how's it going with her? Good. She's a substitute teacher. Have you ever had her in your class? Yes. Well, right now, Mrs. Redenbach and Bryson's teacher are trying to change the time of the course, so they're away. So right now she's teaching uh, Mrs. Redenbach's, Mrs. Redenbach's class.